back again with Professor Mola. This time what I'm going to show you on assignment number five is how to do the bar chart. We want to do a uh, bar chart and what we're going to do is a bar chart on uh, the test scores for uh, the final. And so what we're going to do is come down here to your bottom chart on how many scored in each range on the final, uh, final exam. And what we're going to do is we're going to highlight now uh, in our box uh, plot, in our box and whisker chart, we highlighted one column and then we added another column. What we're going to do here is we're going to highlight two columns. So we'll have an X and a Y axis. So go ahead and highlight range and count and then come down and highlight the two columns. Do not add the total. So it's range and count. And we want our headers in this. And uh, highlight those two columns and now what we're going to do like we did before we're going to go to insert and right here in the middle is our charts and under recommended charts we're actually going to go to the right to the column chart so this uh, gray white and blue our column chart will click down we're going to choose this first column here uh, which is a clustered column chart we're just going to click on that and now we have our chart here and if you can see on our chart, and I'll make this bigger, is we have our less than 40, 40 to 49, 50, 59, uh, 50 to 59, 60 are our score ranges and how many scored in each. But now we're going to make this a little bit better. Uh, we're going to do some formatting and make it easier to understand uh, what this bar chart is telling us. So the first thing we're going to do is go up here and click on the chart title. We're going to delete that out, and the title is going to be Breakdown of Final Exam Scores. So, Breakdown of Final Exam Scores. Uh, unfortunately, I have a really good microphone that picks up when I type on my keyboard. So, Breakdown of Final Exam Scores, that's the first thing we're going to do. The next thing we're going to do is, while we're in here, uh, again, if we click out of here for any reason just click back in um, to the chart anywhere we get chart design at the very top if we're not clicked on it click on chart design we're going to do add chart element and again just like we did before chart titles and primary vertical and then we get this little axis title here on the left go ahead and click in there uh, don't delete out all the information yet just delete part of it and what we're going to rename this is count of students. So count of students. And delete the rest of that. And if you can see I misspelled the O or capitalized it. So I got to go back in here and make it smaller. So count of students. And then I'm going to click on out and then on it again. The reason I clicked out and on it again is if I stayed in there with my cursor. Uh, it won't format the entire title, um, uh, vertical title that I want formatted. But if I click out and click back in and see I've got my four blue dots that surround it. So now I can go here into home and I can increase the size. And I'll do it the same as I did on my box and whisker plot. I did a 16 size there and bold. And I'm going to do this on the breakdown of final exam scores. So when I click on it, you see these four blue dots. That means I'm working on this whole area right there. I'm going to do my breakdown of final exam scores and give it a bolt. Uh, the other thing I'll do while I'm right here and, and uh, I've got my whole um, chart formatted, I'm going to go in and do my put my line around the chart my black line so how I did that is go up here to format if as long as my chart uh, is highlighted see if I come out here and just click on my chart I've got this double line uh, with these squares uh, go up here and click format then I'm going to go to the right of shape fill which is my line format and I'll click the black and you can see now I have a black line this isn't uh, completely done here we're going to do a few more things on this uh, one of the things that I'm going to do is you see these lines going across for the one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to uh, click on those lines. Just click anywhere on any one of the lines. And now that you see each of the lines have the blue 
uh, on both the left and the right. Uh, once you click on that and you have the blue on the right and the left, go ahead and click delete. And we're going to get rid of that line. Uh, and you can see that, oh, now it's a little bit harder to read. Uh, but we're going to bring that back in. Now what we're going to do is click on any of the blue. And you see that each of the blues are now highlighted. And right click uh, while the blues are highlighted and add data labels. The reason why we want to do this to make sure all of them are clicked. Because if I click the blue again, you see that just this column right here is... Um, highlighted so if I go in here and and do something with this it's only going to affect this one column and it's not going to affect the entire series so if I click out and click on each of the blue or the blue again you see that all the blues columns have the uh, blue dots at uh, the four blue dots in the four corners this is what we want to do right now uh, we want to go ahead and I'll click out we want to click in here again and to make this a little bit easier to read, what we're going to do is change the width of the spacing between each of these. So right click here and we're going to hit Format Data Series. So Format Data Series and we see here on the right we have our Format Data Series have come up. And so we can change color um, here. Uh, we can give it some texture if we want but we'll go to this third one if it's not over there and it's a series option and you will do this uh, in most of the assignments from now here on out and especially for um, your uh, second exam in excel uh, where you go ahead and and build a dashboard and you're making a bunch of charts uh, change this gap width just so it's easier to read and you don't always have the skinny and now I'm skinny little columns I'm gonna bring this down to like 45 uh, or you can even bring it down to 30 percent and it just makes this a little bit easier to read uh, on here and the last thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna add another chart element so go to chart design add chart element down here and what we're going to do is uh, add another title, axis title, and this time we want primary horizontal. We've got our vertical count of students, breakdown of final exam scores. Uh, we're going to do horizontal title. The axis title that we're going to give this here is score ranges. So we see that. Um, we know what this less than 40, 40 to 49 is, score ranges. Uh, and you can always go in and highlight it and then go in and format it. Or you can click out and then click back in and get your four blue dots. Go to the home. Everything else is 16 point. I'm going to make that 16 point in blue. And now we have just completed um, our... Uh, box plot there so we've added our data labels we can see what's going on and now I'm just going to reduce the size I kept it that large uh, for the assignment and I'm going to move it over here underneath my box and whisker chart just make it approximately the same size we'll work on that later just so it looks good so it's easier to read now I've completed the entire assignment it looks good I can see what's going on uh, in this class data, I can see what's going on with student number one. I can look at uh, the number and the mean, median, min, max. I've also got that plotted out on a chart, uh, on the box plot chart. And then I can look down at a breakdown of the final exam scores and see that uh, the best score on the majority of the students was between 80 uh, and 89. And I can see that uh, what's going on with the class. So very good job. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is now complete right here. So make sure this is saved here with both of the charts. And save this. Rename it with your name on it. And then upload it as your completed assignment. And thank you very, very much.